My name is Mike Saunders. It is indeed a privilege and a pleasure to be here this afternoon for the 50th anniversary concert of the Niagara Youth Orchestra. And looking behind me here, look at this mass of musicians. Present and former members of the Niagara Youth Orchestra, indeed they do deserve a round of applause for entertaining us so well this afternoon, so far, and even more to come. The uh, legacy of the Niagara Youth Orchestra is a great one. And I realized when I was introduced uh, and asked to host the second half this afternoon, I got to thinking, do I have an association myself with the Niagara Youth Orchestra? And indeed I do. Now I had to go back into my memory banks, but back, it's got to be about 20 years ago now, I was asked to narrate Peter and the Wolf at the Manville Theatre. It was such a memorable performance, it's taken 20 years for me to return. <laughs> and I'm thankful to be here. I think there was one other performance I was associated with, but that's the one that sticks in my memory because not being able to read a single note of music, the conductor basically had to point at me when it was my cue. Now I knew the music well. It's just that I didn't want to walk on the orchestra, as they say in musical terms. So I took my cue for the conductor and it went beautifully. It was a memorable afternoon of music and I remember it to this very day. Now the orchestra, the Niagara Youth Orchestra, is really the inspiration of a man we honor here today and he will be conducting to begin the second half of the program. Paul Van Dongen goes back to the very beginning. It was his vision that began what we have here today. 1965, yes, but he also says it goes back much further than that. Early 1960s, as a matter of fact. Paul was uh, a musician with the Niagara Symphony as far back as 1955 two years before I was born. That puts it in perspective. He has been the lifeblood of music in Niagara, and I don't think it's overstating the case to say that Paul is Niagara music, and he deserves our gratitude and a generous round of applause as we introduce him to the podium to kick off the second half of the program. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the founder of the Niagara Youth Orchestra, Paul Bender. where I got the idea to start a youth orchestra. It was quite simple. Years ago, in the 50s, there was an American station, a radio station in which there was an announcer that kept saying every evening, do you know where your children are? <laughs> And I've always kept that in the back of my mind. So that's what inspired me to get this, well, not this, but 50 years ago uh, to get together. And so it, uh, well, it's, it seemed to have worked. <laughs> so now, without further ado, you know, my secret why I started the orchestra. 
Now you're going to see my secret in conducting. 